rocking down the street. And that's it all started from a pretty young age, actually. As soon as I could speak, I was singing. And I was so fascinated with movies. But the best this movie I like is Bottle, E.T., and every kind of movie. I wanted to be a triple threat, a singer, actor, director. Once I grew up more, I learned about YouTube. And the second I got my first camera and laptop, I started a YouTube channel. By the time I hit high school, I was a teenage girl obsessed with the band Five Seconds of Summer. And they changed my life in so many ways. I had uploaded a joke video on YouTube purely for my entertainment only. Except it wasn't. Thousands of others shared my humor and I watched the views on that video go up and up every day. It's funny because I didn't mean to blow up, it was a complete fluke. And I even ended up recording a cover of the song Lie to Me by 5 Seconds of Summer and releasing it on Spotify. It got over 100,000 streams and a music video with over 70,000 views. I was only 15, and that was a lot of power to hold when you're that age. I had people from all around the world messaging me. But my online persona couldn't compare to what I was facing in real life. I was struggling with anxiety. And it was so bad, it felt like I was walking around with this weight on my chest wherever I went. My anxiety held me back from talking to new people, and trying new things. Every day after school, I would go home and nap for hours, as if I could sleep my problems away. And every time I'd wake up with a thousand messages on my phone being like, where are you? What are you doing? And it would always just be, oh, sorry, I was tired. But it was more than that. I was at an all-time low, and I had no inspiration for YouTube whatsoever. I'd just manufacture a video to get a paycheck from YouTube, and that's not the person I wanted to become. My views were dropping, and I didn't even resonate with the content I was making anymore. So eventually, I just stopped. COVID-19, the severe case of the coronavirus. Quarantine must. hit, and that's when I really took the time to focus on myself and heal. When my senior year of high school started, I joined my school's theater company. And I regained confidence in my voice and performing. I threw myself into making good films and entering film festivals. My love for music came back and I started writing lyrics again and singing songs. I found love, and it's crazy what love can do. Uh, my boyfriend and I have been together for eight months. We did theater company in high school together. And his passion for music is probably even stronger than mine. I always wanted to write original songs and release them, and I could write the lyrics and I had the voice, but I struggled because I could not play an instrument for the life of me. Lucky for me, he plays guitar and piano, and his talent is so good, it blows me away sometimes. Uh, now we're writing songs together, and playing covers of old music, and my dad's even helping build us a music studio in our spare bedroom, so one day we can release something original. And I got into film school, which was probably the best part. I'm starting a whole new chapter of my life, basically. And that starts here, not in focus. 